Now, last year in the Western Cape, we were made privy to CCTV footage of the roads and some of the accidents that happened. Will we see something similar for this, for this year? Yes, it's ongoing. Um, if your viewers really want to frighten themselves, they can go onto the site and there, there's graphic footage from CCTV cameras, which is updated from time to time, of the effects of speeding. Um, most of the crashes are also alcohol related and there are far too many people who are illegally walking on freeways. And that came up from Sanrail's data at our road accident fund meeting in conversation last Saturday morning. They've tracked 2,700 people counted on the cameras walking on our roads on freeways between Monday and Friday two weeks ago. Now it's completely illegal to walk on a freeway but the research that Sanrail did because they interviewed some of the people and they said firstly they don't like using the pedestrian overpasses because of the fact that there are sometimes gangsters there who then rob them of their possessions. So we need to communicate out there that those bridges have got cameras so if people misbehave we will get footage and we will have the necessary people arrested. But we can't have people walking on freeways because they feel safer, because in actual fact they are in grave danger because if a motorist is not looking where they are driving then those people's lives are put at risk. And there is graphic footage of people being literally beheaded, having been hit at speed on a freeway. And, you know, if your viewers go and have a look at that site and they talk to their friends about it, it's a shock and awe tactic to try and change behavior. What we're really trying to do is to change behavior of our drivers and making sure that they are far more responsible while they're on our roads. We need to change behavior. And how do we do that? By trying to communicate more effectively, by certainly making sure that there are sanctions and penalties levied on people who break the law, because the law is there to protect people. It's not there to make their lives more difficult.